What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we're diving into After Effects because After Effects is an awesome software for creating motion graphics, VFX, and animations, but it would not be nearly as dope if it wasn't thanks to these creators on this list. If this is your first time on the channel, we talk about all sorts of motion design, so make sure you guys go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned. Also, want to send a huge thank you to everyone who's already subscribed. You guys are helping us get that much closer to our goal of 500,000 subscribers. Now, this video is sponsored by Storyblocks, but more details about them later on. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, the creators on this list are not in order of importance, they're just too dope to compare like that, but the final three are going to be the ones that I've found to be the most inspiring, so make sure you guys watch the very end so you don't miss out on those ones. Anyways, I got the list, let's hop right in. First up at number 10, okay, here we have from Q Dozak this awesome animation which was actually inspired by AI generated images. So the way that he made this was first he had an AI image generated specifically using Mid Journey and the prompt machine for making hats. Then from that image, he went into After Effects and created this animation, which I thought was really sick and a nice use of combining AI with art. If you guys are curious of more AI inspired art, we also have another video which dives into a whole bunch of really awesome AI tools that you can actually use today, as well as some of the ones that are currently in beta testing and just the insane results that people are getting with. So if you guys are curious about that, make sure you go ahead and check out that video. Anyways, love your work a lot and I hope to see more. Next we have at number nine, here we have from I Am Roscoe, this really awesome frame by frame animation, which was actually created using a combination of Photoshop and After Effects. When I asked her how she actually created this, she said that she filmed herself dancing and then took a screenshot of every four to five frames, then imported those screenshotted frames into Photoshop, did a frame by frame collage with all these nice effects and paper textures all over it and drawings and whatnot. And then she imported that back into after Effects and composited it all together. This piece came out super impressive and I can definitely see it being used for some sort of music video or a really fun commercial. I love your work a lot, I'm Roscoe, and I hope to see more. Number eight on the list. All right, this next one is pretty silly. It's from Dramatic Art 425 And here we have this combination of Cinema 4D and After Effects. At first when I saw this, I thought this was maybe a guy who's like dancing underneath a bed sheet, wearing like a green screen suit and then keying it out. But that camera motion would have actually made that pretty hard to composite in. So instead, when I found out that he's actually using Cinema 4D and then cloth simulation, so this entire scene really is a bit fake there. I, I was super blown away because the compositing looks really awesome with those shadows and everything just flowed super nicely. I'm not sure if this is using the new Cinema 4D 2023 version, which had some cloth simulation upgrades, but either way, this piece came out really awesome and I hope to see more of your work. Here we have at number seven, yo, this one freaking blew my my mind. This one is from user Tyvis who creates this retrophonic kinetic typography film. This project was exhibited at the Graphic Days Festival in Turin, Italy, and he won a special mention by Zeta Fonts Type Foundry. I love all these different text animations, and if you guys are curious about creating an awesome looking text animation of your own, check out this video that we have here on the channel where we talk about creating multiple text animation styles right within After Effects. I think even some of these you can actually learn, like creating different echo effects and whatnot. Now there does look to be like there's a possibility that he used Newton for some of these type effects but for some of the other ones I think that you can get away with just doing all built-in after effects. Anyways love your work a lot Tyvis and I hope to see more. Coming up at number six next we have from user Chuborka. This motion graphics piece is inspired by the exorcist and it's pretty cool that he actually has real Japanese text in there and not just for like some aesthetic quality but it, it actually makes sense. This whole piece has this really old school looking vibe and that's thanks to him using film grain which he actually used a plugin called film convert nitrate to add in that grain and then color grade the footage. This piece came out pretty interesting and I hope to see more of your work. Another pro tip if you guys are just starting out in After Effects and learning how to
to make your own intros or motion graphics here and there. It's super helpful to actually just download a template from Storyblocks, open it up, and then get to see what happens behind the hood in terms of their keyframes and different little techniques that an animator is using. That way you can kind of just go into that project, reverse engineer it, and then immediately walk away from that with a whole lot more knowledge under your belt. It's actually one of the fastest ways that I've used to learn. And that's a really awesome way to level up your skills in a fast amount of time. If you have never heard of Storyblocks before, or maybe you've come across them, but haven't really signed up before, I gotta say from my own personal experience, I find them to be super dope. Storyblocks makes it possible for creatives to keep pumping out awesome looking work by being able to use high quality assets in their projects ranging from videos, images, audio, music, sound effects, templates, and a whole lot more by just typing in whatever we want and then having that luxury of kicking back and browsing some awesome stuff from their library of over 1 million royalty free assets. I don't know about you but I like working smarter not harder whenever possible so check out their flexible subscription plans at the link in the description box. All right thanks are heating up. We're about halfway through the list at number five. Here we have this really cool motion graphics piece from I Am Andre One. He brings us this piece which dives into negativity by promoting positive messages through his use of typography and animations. This was actually inspired by the book Think Like a Monk, which talks about practicing the three C's of don't complain, don't compare, and don't criticize. Not only that, but he combines his inspiration from the reading material with the design in California ad. I love how fluid this animation came out and how beautiful all of this was put together. Great work, great art, and great messages. Anyways, love your work a lot and I hope to see more. Next we have at number four. Next up we have from Mirren Belluli who creates this awesome soccer sports intro right inside of After Effects. I love this piece a lot because at first glance it looks like he's maybe just using still frames and then plugging them into 3D space. But then if you actually notice there's this subtle motion in it that's just really bringing these pieces to life. And I really love how you're using that z-axis depth to really go through all of these images and draw us into the scene. What's even better about this piece is that you included this really awesome breakdown that shows your process and what tools you use. So to get that subtle motion on all these still frames, he actually used the puppet pin tool. And overall, I love the thought and details that you put into this piece. Anyways, love your work a lot, Mirren, and I hope to see more. Okay, this is where it gets serious. We're down to the final three. Okay, Speeder97 brings us this animation, which is inspired by self-awareness. This is not only trippy and psychedelic, but it also includes some really awesome techniques of using tracking and reflections along with motion blur. If you guys are curious how that star motion was created in the background, it's actually done with trap code form and echo, which are paid plugins. But everything else, it looks like he actually animated that right inside of After Effects. I love how this piece came out and I hope to see more. Next, we have at number two. Okay, here we have from Veronica Emily, these really awesome Amiri animations animations. I really love the atmospheres and creative styles as well as the way that you're fusing Illustrator and After Effects together in a perfect way. But not only that, but you include a breakdown of your process which is always super helpful for showing other creatives how something amazing is actually getting made behind the scenes. So I love your use of style frames to really block this out and to really plan how awesome that this piece is going to come out. Love your work a lot Veronica and I hope to see more. And last but not least at number one. Okay, this one from Key Mion is freaking insane. This is a combination of using After Effects, Cinema 4D, and Ember Gen to create this really awesome and stylish piece. I love how you not only show us this really awesome animation, but you include a breakdown that shows the process into making this. So he's actually using a car rig and then a character rig, as well as Ember Gen to simulate those smoke particles coming off of the tires there. This is an excellent animation with some awesome slow motion in it. I really love how the models are expressive and clean and not only that, but it looks like it could be a part of an actual movie. Great work, Keep Me On Kim, and I hope to see more. So those creators are just pushing After Effects to its limits and inspiring the rest of us, but there are so many other creators that are also doing the same right inside of After Effects. So if you're curious to check out some of the things that they're up to, make sure you go ahead and click on this video. There's just so much to learn and so much to really appreciate. And I don't know what you're still doing here because you're gonna wanna go ahead and check out that video. Storyblocks link in that description. Make sure you don't miss it. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.